So snow crab season is canceled? There are close to a billion snow crabs missing. What the hell is a snow crab? It's kind of scary. I didn't know snow crabs were a thing, but now I love them. If you have seen them, please let us know. Right now we think it's either disease or missingness. I'm really upset that they got canceled. Why they get canceled? Yeah, maybe they're all hiding because there's a harvest of them. I wouldn't want to be harvested, so I would hide too. Have we checked Canada? I also heard that there's been more Joe's Crab Shacks appearing everywhere. Um, to say that that's a correlation, a little bit speculative in my opinion, so. I think a lot of eyes turned to red. I'll leave out the rest of the name. Uh, because if we're out of crabs, what are you eating? Check Canada. Good morning, good afternoon, or whatever time of day you're watching this. I'm Paxton Elrod, and you're watching another episode of JM in the AM, where we shoot in the AM and you see it in the PM, or literally any time of day, that, that doesn't matter. We have a jam-packed show with a lot of stuff that you want to see from the John Boy office, but we got to start out with the one, the only, the oh my god OG, Joe's McFly, for some reaction videos. No, it declined. Why did you what? decline that? I said feet. I'll never get those seconds back in my life. <laughs> the most cringy videos to ever exist, part one. Okay. I'm hoping that he's a really great kisser for sure. Okay. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. What's your name? Oh, man, he Josh. looks so... <laughs> this hurts. Um, can I kiss you? Sure. Isn't that what they're there for? I'm sorry, but I just want to see that real quick again. Why is it so quiet? How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. What's your name? Breathing sounds. Josh. Hi. Um, can I kiss you? Too. You know when things hurt to watch? <laughs> Jail. Jail. That is a crime. The cake thing? Uh, why wouldn't they do it in the box? Bro, just tear. How'd you kiss that? Damn, this guy needs to be fired. Who did that? This is all like... I didn't think I had like that kind of like what do you call that when when OCD when but these things bother me. Truthfully, I went out of my way to find the most uncomfortable videos on the internet to get the weirdest reactions out of Joe's. Thanks for playing along, even though I kind of forced you to do that. Anyway, moving on into some sports news, the San Diego Padres, they've made it to the NLCS. Now, yes, they can thank their team for the success in the postseason, but the one thing that they do have to thank is the rally goose. Yes, a goose. And the one and only Jolly Olive is gonna ask the John Boy office about this crazy phenomenon. Jolly? I'm Jolly Olive, and today we're asking people about the rally goose. Ever heard of it? Well, these people might have, and they might have not. Let's go around the office and ask the greatest baseball minds in America about a goose. Are you aware of the rally goose from last weekend's baseball play? It's pretty iconic, yes, I am aware. I'm aware. I have been watching baseball. I have seen the goose. Are you a fan of the rally goose? Oh yeah, I love it. Yeah, yeah. I love seeing animals on the field and everybody's 
embodying that animal. I am petrified of geese mainly because they're cousins of mine. Um, so I don't know how to feel. It's like a family dilemma, but I'm rooting for the geese. <laughs> I only saw the clips. I did not see it in live time. I hear goose tastes good though. I love it. Love I think whatever gets your team going and provides some team chemistry, you should stick with until the end. If you had to pick a rally animal for your team, what would that animal be? Something like a porcupine. Porcupine, I like that a lot. Probably like a piece of cheese. I think a platypus. Ooh, a uh, seagull. Where the goals, the best animal. Like that. Kind of soccer related too, kind of like seagull. I got like my finger deep in some sort of liquid, so. So the John Boy Media Office, they're fans of the rally goose. I think it could have been a different animal to incite even more excitement with the fan base. But the goose, calm and chill, and so were the Padres. They took the NLDS over the Dodgers. Jolly, you missed your calling as an in-office reporter. But hey, JM and the AM, it's giving you a perfect platform. Outside of the fact that you did interrupt my shooting of What's in the Box, which airs on JM Entertainment on Mondays. Plug. Anyways, Jake Storiali, he's got our weather report for the week. Yes, not just the day, the week. Stormy Storiali back at it with your CS weather preview. We're going to start out New York and Philadelphia. We're actually getting beautiful weather this weekend, which I don't like. It's playoff baseball. I want it to be 45 and rainy. Turtlenecks. We're not getting that, unfortunately. And by the way, Houston, dome, don't care. San Diego, it's way too hot. It was 90 degrees yesterday. It's supposed to be playoff baseball. We always love a chaotic, not that factual weather update from Jake Storielli. And truthfully, as an audience, I think we can all agree that we will believe literally anything Jake says. I don't know why, but here we are doing that. Moving into a kind of awkward story, there was a proposal that went bad. Obviously, I want to ask the John Boy office what they think of this uncomfortable situation. Number one, uh, never uh, paint your chest. I wish I was at that game. As an Islander fan, I'm upset that I wasn't at that game. Number two, put a shirt on. Generally, I err on the side of these things being fake or staged. This one looks pretty authentic, but I'm just like too skeptical in general. So you've seen it fake too many times. So number three, don't propose at a sporting event. Yeah, proposing at sporting events is always bad. You're at an Islander game, why are you doing this? So I, I kind of sign with the woman. She's made a smart decision. She didn't just say yes because there's a ton of people around and she was forced into saying yes. She made a, a very tactical decision, said no, and darted out of there. So good for her. If it's been discussed, then the guy's an idiot. But if not, I mean, maybe she's into giant shirtless gestures in front of Joan Four Islanders. Maybe that's just what she's into. And uh, it's like she misled him. Who knows? Who am I to say? It's an internet video. And I'm not a person to make that type of decision. Just as I suspected, we have an office full of very opinionated people, all coming to the conclusion that it is an uncomfortable topic. Moving into our favorite and last segment, Dan in the Streets of New York City. Now this time, we're gonna get his favorite segment, which is mid, meh, major. Dan? Candy corn, mid or major? Ah, uh, mid, meh. Oh, mid, 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 mid yeah, mid. mid. It's garbage, it's sugar. It's... Mid. I don't know what that is. The candies, uh, um, orange, yellow, white, right? Okay. Pumpkin spice. That's quite good. Never had it, mid. Mid, mid. Razor. You put it everywhere, like uh, Starbucks and, and cakes. I do not actually participate in pumpkin spice. I didn't either. And now I am full blown addicted. Cold brew with the pumpkin foam. <laughs> you sound like a basic bitch. <laughs> John Denver's 1971 smash hit, Country Roads Take Me Home. Major, beyond major. Apple picking, thoughts on it? Uh, I think apple picking's fine. Again, as long as there's no tomatoes. When you go and pick apples. Major. In Germany, you don't have to pay for it. Also, it doesn't sound familiar to me. <laughs> Mid. <laughs> Party! 
started me. Apple picking is so fun. And then you also get like the apple cider donuts and the apple cider itself. And it's just a wonderful time. Did you ever go apple picking with a significant other? No, we haven't done that. What do you think about the Lumineers? The Lumineers? That is all we got for today's episode of JM in the AM, another successful yet very random episode. Thanks for watching in the PM or the AM or both if it's like midnight in that weird time. Either works. Thanks.